choose to move forward. And don't let anything stop you. I met many of you early this year at the March for Our Lives in Washington, D.C. It was an amazing day. Thank you for your courage and your bravery, and for giving amazing speeches I could never possibly live up to. My wife and I brought our two little girls because we wanted them to see what hope and light looks like. And as I was standing there watching you guys in awe, I was lucky enough to stand with a lot of your teachers. And let me tell you something, your teachers are so proud of you. Uh, really, they were like, uh, I taught him, I taught her, I taught her, I taught them history. And now you're making history. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, and that's just a few of you I was able to meet. I can only imagine what the rest of this class is accomplishing and will be able to accomplish. And your teachers, everyone, they're all so proud of you. My teachers weren't really proud of me like that. I, <laughs> I wasn't really the best student. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I was dumb, I just, I just had other strengths. <laughs> I didn't always feel like studying, so I, I had to go to summer school. And my mom and dad were like, look at you, Mr. Smart Guy, huh? Now you're going to go to summer school, huh? How's that make you feel? Huh? You ruin your whole summer now? And uh, it made me feel awful. I went to my bedroom, I cried. <laughs> but here's the thing, I got up in the morning, I went to summer school, and I met. 15 versions of myself. <laughs> Everyone was funny and slightly dumb, and uh, I loved it. I loved summer school. It was fantastic. I met my people. <laughs> Comedy cap. So my point is, and a lot of you already know this, but every bad experience can have something good that comes out of it. Sometimes things that seem like setbacks can take our lives in a totally new direction that can change us in ways we don't expect. And they make us better and stronger. You guys have already proved that to everyone. You took something horrific, and instead of letting it stop you, you started a movement. Not just here in Florida, not just in America, but throughout the whole world. The whole world has heard your voice, and that was you making a choice. Take something awful and using it to create change, that was you choosing hope over fear. Uh, another thing I want to say is keep making good choices. I'm not saying it because I think you need to learn it, I'm saying it because you've already taught it to all of us. I, can, I can't promise you that life will be easy, but if you make good choices and keep moving forward, I can promise you that it will get better in ways that you haven't even thought of yet. That brings me to another thing I want to tell you guys, which is we have no idea what the future holds and that's okay. Don't get too hung up on it. My advice to you is don't think about what you want to do. Think about why you want to do it, and the rest will figure itself out. I love what I do. Uh, I get to tell jokes and make people laugh, and uh, it's awesome. Uh, people always ask me, what's, what's the best part of your job? And I say, I get to make people happy. You know, it, it's great. I'll, I'll give you an example. About six or seven months ago, I ran into this girl on the street, and she came up to me and she said, oh, uh, I just want to let you know that I was going through a tough time, I was very depressed, and you got me through my depression. Uh, and I've watched all your clips on YouTube, and I just want to thank you so much for getting me such a, through, through such a tough time. And then we talked for about 20 minutes, and then she goes, uh, can I get a selfie? And I go, yeah, of course. So we take a selfie, and then uh, she goes, can we get one more for a Snapchat? And I go, yeah, yeah, of course. So we take another one. And then uh, I say goodbye to her, and she's leaving. I, she said out loud, oh my god, I just met Jimmy Kimmel. The point is, I love my job, and I know I could make her laugh if she knew who I was. Um, <laughs> The question people ask me a lot is, uh, what would you tell your younger self? And there's so many things I'd say, but the first would be, lay off the carbs. <laughs> the second I would say is listen. Listen to everyone around you. Hear other voices. There's so many different voices in the world, and we're all different voices, different flavors, different colors, but we're all on the same rainbow. And we need red just as much as we need yellow, and purple, and orange, and blue, and green, and burgundy. <laughs> There's good in everyone, so find what's good in people. If we listen to each other, we can find it. Another thing I tell my younger self is work hard 